Uh, my name is Chase Gargas. I'm the vice president of the UVic Ukrainian Student Organization uh, at the University of Victoria. Um, Hi, I'm Kirsten Schoon, also from the same organization. Yeah, so, um, you know, we came a long way to Ottawa to participate in this Congress, but we think it's really important to get that youth involvement. Um, we've been noticing a lot of a disconnect between the higher-ups in the organization and uh, the policies that they're implementing for youth, and we think that we have a lot of valuable information to share, um, especially with our experience with our USO. We have a lot of experience um, and successes uh, expanding to members who uh, and appealing to members who aren't necessarily uh, Ukrainian in the sense that they speak Ukrainian language. They don't necessarily participate in the culture. And we've been having a lot of success in reaching out to them and uh, gearing our events towards them and trying to bring them back in the community, kind of working retroactively. Whereas I feel like um, a lot of the interest with a lot of the Congress is focusing primarily on new arrivals, people who already have the language, who already have a strong basis in like Eastern Orthodox uh, religion. And that's not always the case with people. And um, a big fear and a lot of talk at this Congress has been how our population is shrinking. It seems like we're shrinking. Uh, there's not enough people to come to our events. There's nothing's happening. Um, but it's in my, in my opinion that our population is actually growing. Uh, we're just becoming more diverse. And it's our job as the Ukrainian Canadian Congress and its member organizations to uh, hone our approach so we can reach every single person. And that way we don't have to worry about our population shrinking. But we'll continue to grow and we'll continue to be successful. Um, yeah, great. And Kirsten, uh, what, was your, what's your, what was your favorite part about this Congress, this year's Congress? Um, as a, um, a theater practitioner, I've been doing a lot of having discussions with uh, fellow Ukrainian creators, and it's been a really good opportunity to almost um, create that discussion conversation for p possible mentorship and see how um, arts and culture can help in this context. Um, and how's your, uh, what kind of, uh, what kind of events are you hosting uh, at the uh, Students Club at the University of Victoria? Um, our big thing for this semester, before the end of the year, we're doing a week-long Holodomor commemoration event um, in partnership with the community. So we are inspired by the Holodomor bus. So we have the documentary that they showed. We are going to do the food tasting to educate and spread the awareness about the genocide. Um, as well, we will be having information booths set up for the week and finishing with a partnered commemoration with the community. Mm -hmm. And it's really big for British Columbia because early this week. Oh, yeah, the, uh, the government finally recognized uh, a National Holodomor Day, um, which, is, which is great. We've been working for it for a long time and we finally got it. So I think it's especially important now that we just keep hammering it home and show a strong community support and really just make sure that it becomes uh, a part of everyone in Victoria's life to commemorate the Holodomor.